The 39th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1865, to March 4, 1867, during the first month of Abraham Lincoln's fifth year as president, and the first two years of the administration of his successor, U.S. President Andrew Johnson. The apportionment of seats in this House of Representatives was based on the Eighth Census of the United States in 1860. Both chambers had a Republican majority. Major events March 4, 1865, second inauguration of President Abraham Lincoln. April 9, 1865, surrender of Confederate forces at Appomattox Courthouse, effectively ending the American Civil War. April 15, 1865, assassination of President Abraham Lincoln. Vice President Andrew Johnson became President of the United States. December 11, 1865, creation of the House Appropriations Committee and the House Banking and Commerce Committee, reducing the tasks of the House Ways and Means Committee. January, 1866, the second and current United States Capitol Dome completed after 11 years of work. July 24, 1866, Tennessee became the first U.S. state to be readmitted to the Union following the American Civil War. November 5, 1866, United States House of Representatives elections, 1866 January 8, 1867, African American men are granted the right to vote in the District of Columbia. Topic: Major legislation. April 9, 1866, Civil Rights Act of 1866, Cess 1, CH 31, 14 Stat 27. July 16, 1866, Freedmen's Bureau Bill, Cess 1, CH 200, 14 Stat 173. July 23, 1866, Judicial Circuits Act, Cess. 1, ch. 210, 14 Stat. 209, reduced the number of United States Circuit Courts to 9 and the number of Supreme Court Justices to 7. July 25, 1866, an act to revive the grade of general in the United States Army, Cess. 1, ch. 232, 14 Stat. 223, now called, Five Star General. Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant became the first to have this rank. July 28, 1866, Metric Act of 1866, Cess. 1, ch. 301, 14 Stat. 339, legalized the use of the metric system for weights and measures in the United States. <laughs> Constitutional amendments December 18, 1865, 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution declared ratified June 13, 1866, approved an amendment to the Constitution addressing citizenship rights and equal protection of the laws, and submitted it to the state legislatures for ratification Amendment was later ratified on July 9, 1868, becoming the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution. States admitted July 24, 1866, Tennessee readmitted to representation. March 1, 1867, Nebraska admitted as the 37th state, Cess. 2, ch. 36, 14 Stat. 391 over President's veto. Party summary The count below identifies party affiliations at the beginning of the first session of this Congress, and includes members from vacancies and newly admitted states, when they were first seated. Changes resulting from subsequent replacements are shown below in the Changes in Membership section. <laughs> Senate During this Congress, two seats were added for the new state of Nebraska. House of Representatives 
During this Congress, one seat was added for the new state of Nebraska. Leadership Senate President, Andrew Johnson D. until April 15, 1865, vacant thereafter. President pro tempore, Lafayette S. Foster R. until March 2, 1867 Benjamin F. Wade R. elected March 2, 1867 Republican Conference Chairman, Henry B. Anthony House of Representatives Speaker, Schuyler Colfax R. Republican Conference Chairman, Justin S. Morrill Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed in order of seniority, and representatives are listed by district. Senate Senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re-election in 1868, Class II meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re-election in 1870, and Class III meant their term ended in this Congress, requiring re-election in 1866. Skip to House of Representatives, below. <laughs> House of Representatives The names of members of the House of Representatives are preceded by their district numbers. <laughs> Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. <laughs> Senate Replacements, 8 Democratic, 2-seat net loss Republican, 2-seat net gain Unionist, no net change Unconditional union, no net change Deaths, 4 Resignations, 2 Vacancy, 1 Seats of newly admitted states, 2 Seats of re-admitted states, 2 Total seats with changes, 12 House of Representatives Replacements, 9 Democratic, 1-seat net gain Republican, 2-seat net gain Unconditional Unionist, 1-seat net loss Unionist, 0 net change Deaths, 4 Resignations, 4 Contested election, 3 Seats from newly admitted states, 1 Seats from readmitted states, 8 Total seats with changes, 21 Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official congressional directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link, one link in the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, select and special and joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official congressional directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> Senate Agriculture Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate Claims Coins, weights and measures select. Commerce Compensation select. Distributing public revenue among the states select District of Columbia Finance 
Foreign Relations Indian Affairs Interior Department Clerical Force Select Judiciary Manufactures Military Affairs Mines and Mining Mississippi River Levees Reconstruction Select National Banks Select National Telegraph Company Select Naval Affairs Ordnance and War Ships Select Pacific Railroad Patents and the Patent Office Pensions Post Office and Post Roads Private Land Claims Public Lands Retrenchment Revolutionary Claims Tariff Regulation Select Territories Whole <laughs> House of Representatives Accounts Agriculture Appropriations Banking and currency Claims Commerce District of Columbia Elections Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on public buildings Foreign Affairs Freedmen's Affairs Indian Affairs Invalid Pensions Manufactures Mileage Military Affairs Militia Mines and Mining Naval Affairs Pacific Railroads Patents Post Office and Post Roads Public Buildings and Grounds Public expenditures Public lands Revisal and unfinished business Revolutionary claims Roads and canals Rules select Standards of official conduct Territories Ways and means Whole <laughs> Joint committees Conditions of Indian Tribes Special Conduct of the War Enrolled Bills Retrenchment To inquire into the condition of the states which formed the so-called Confederate States. Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic: Employees. Architect of the Capitol, Thomas U. Walter, resigned May 26, 1865. Edward Clark, appointed August 30, 1865. Librarian of Congress, Ainsworth Rand Spofford. Topic: Senate. Chaplain, Edgar H. Gray Baptist. Secretary, John W. Forney Sergeant-at-Arms, George T. Brown <laughs> House of Representatives Chaplain, Charles B. Boynton Congregationalist. Clerk, Edward McPherson Doorkeeper, Ira Goodno Messenger to the Speaker, William D. Todd Postmaster, Joshua Given Reading Clerks, Data Unknown, Missing Sergeant-at-Arms, Nehemiah G. Ordway See also United States elections, 1864 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1864 United States Senate elections, 1864 and 1865 United States House of Representatives elections, 1864 United States elections, 1866 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1866 and 1867 United States House of Representatives elections, 1866